tours into Slave Lake are hoping to give evacuees a glimpse into their fire-ravaged town. Have a look at, you know, and uh, <clears throat> see what's happening. It's pretty sad and uh, it's terrible thing happening. Surprisingly, however, only about 25 evacuees in the Edmonton area have gone on the tours. Most saying that what they need to focus on now are getting their finances in order and their lives back on track. Just, uh, I think it's better off left alone and we'll see what, what, what's what when we get there. But by the maps, we're pretty sure that everything's okay. Over the weekend, 10,000 people were given wildfire financial relief. Adults were given a one-time payment of $1,250 and each child was given $500. We're seeing people coming through that are getting help uh, replacing documents that were lost. Um, we have Service Alberta here. They're receiving housing assistance if they need help um, finding housing. Around 500 families have gotten the relief funding that is expected to stay at the evacuation sites. Alberta says they're working closely with people to help find long-term housing. And if they're looking for assistance again with uh, um, uh, more longer-term options. We have staff here as well that are able to provide that sort of assistance and support. So far, about 1,400 housing units have been given up for evacuees. Bus tours are not expected to continue past Wednesday. I'm Jasmine Franklin reporting for Sun News.